Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleanor Nishavater and this is going to be my review of A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin. This is a classic fantasy coming of age story where we're following young Ged as he discovers he has an affinity for magic. He goes off to a school for wizardry to learn magic and he grows in arrogance in his power and he does something almost unforgivable and he spends the rest of this book trying to right the wrong he did to the world. This is a really short book. It's only 200 pages long, but it packs a lot in there. And Ursula Gwynn builds this very vivid world in such a small space of time. The world of Earthsea is very interesting. It's a thousand and one small tiny islands. And in the beginning, I was quite confused with what island they were on, trying to find them on the map, where were they going, all these different places and names were quite confusing. But after a little while, I adjusted, I could find myself on the map, and it made sense where they were travelling to and from. I did love the kind of way this world was made, and its kind of formation. Um, it's just very unique and very different. So all these small islands are connected by people who use boats obviously. So a lot of this book is set at sea and um, people gifted with being able to sail and things like that. So it was a bit confusing. I also found the first part of this book a little bit challenging to get into um, because it's classic fantasy so you have to adjust the writing style, the pacing. I've never read by Ursula Le Guin before so it took me a little bit of adjusting. But um, it's also a bit slow in the beginning as well because you're following Ged as he is kind of young and learning his place in the world and that he wants to learn magic. And it's not until he kind of gets to this magic school that things start happening and things get more interesting. And the pacing was a little bit off for me in the beginning and um, it just took me really well to get into it. And that's more so maybe like me adjusting to the writing style rather than the book spacing. But maybe, I don't know if you'll agree with me if you've read this book before. I did like the character of Ged. Um, he did become unlikable at a point, but he has such a great character arc and you really see him grow and change and um, learn from his mistakes. And I think that's really important that he's learned from his mistakes. Not everyone's perfect, um, but he does adapt and change. And I like the interpersonal relationships in here. Ged has a fantastic relationship with his master. Um, although they have their differences at times. And he also has a really good friendship with his friend, Vitek. And it's nice to see that friendship grow and develop throughout the book as well. I do wish some things were developed more and in more detail. This book was written in 1968, so you can only expect so much. And overall, I did really love the story, although it's plot there is a plot and they are doing things, it is much more character driven story and it's much more about good and evil, right and wrong, rather than the big bad, even though there is a big bad in this book. But I don't want to spoil it, but you'll see as you read it that it's more than just that. Um, it's it's deeper um, than that and I really liked that and found it really interesting to read that. Throughout the book there is a couple of other maps where it's kind of zoomed in a little bit and you can see more detail on the islands that they're travelling to and overall I did really enjoy this story. I'm probably going to give it a 4 star which is probably more like a 3.5 star just because I just wish there was more. It's a very short book and I think it's brilliant for its time but there's only a couple of female characters in here. They're not very well developed and it's a bit of a pity just because you know Ursula Gwynn is a woman and it would be nice to have more female characters but I can understand at that time that's not what people were interested in reading and you needed to appeal to that market and I can understand but it is still a bit of a pity but for being a classic fantasy I think this is really really good and I'm definitely interested in finishing the series. I do also wish there was a bit more detail given to some of the places they visit um, because they're kind of island hopping on their adventures and doing things and um, they pop in a little island and they get like a page of like information about this place, what the people are like. Um, it's quite info dumpy in that first page and then they're there for a short time and then they move on, they're kind of island hopping. And because it's such a short book, I feel like that was kind of rushed slightly. Um, but that again is just a very small, small thing that didn't bother me over much. Once I got into the main plot of the story, I really enjoyed it. So let me know if you've read 
A Wizard of Earthsea, or if you've got any interest in reading any book by Ursula Le Guin, I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments. Please be sure to like the video, comment and subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.